Did you know an Apple Watch could be used as a multi-channel ECG recorder, and not just for monitoring the rhythm? Watch this video right to the end to learn more. There are times when an ECG machine is not immediately available, for example when one is stranded in floods or isolated during a pandemic. Would a smartwatch like an Apple Watch which can record ECGs be useful to help diagnose acute coronary syndromes in such situations? The Apple Watch is currently approved by the FDA for detection of atrial fibrillation, but not ischemic heart disease. Researchers from Italy evaluated the use of the Apple Watch for recording multi-channel ECGs in an ingenious fashion. By placing the watch on various positions on the chest and using either the right hand or left hand to touch the crown, the smartwatch was able to record multi-channel ECGs, leads 1, 2, 3, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. This picture shows the placement of the watch and the corresponding finger placement on the crown with either the right or left hand. The researchers studied 100 participants. 54 patients had ST elevation myocardial infarction, 27 patients had non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, and 19 were healthy individuals. Only three patients were excluded due to low signal quality, resulting from tremors due to Parkinson's disease, inability to place finger on crown due to weakness from stroke, and one patient who was uncooperative. Analysis of the results showed statistical agreement between the multi-channel smartwatch ECG and standard ECG for the identification of ST segment changes in patients with acute coronary syndromes. Our own experimentation shows that this is feasible. It requires knowledge of placement of the watch and steady contact with the crown. It is best conducted when lying down. The Apple Watch is not designed to provide any analysis of ST segment changes. However, the PDF of the ECGs is available in the Heart Health section of the Apple Watch app, and these can be sent to a doctor for subsequent analysis. The link to the reference is in the YouTube video description. I have also placed a link to a picture of the smartwatch placement for your reference. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also turn on notifications so that you won't miss our upcoming videos.